Okay, he's a little boy. dear viewers. In my previous video for the chemistry class number one, I did show you some terminology of the chemistry, but I did leave you hang leave you hanging for isotope the mole and Avogadro's number. So inshallah today I will show you that. I'll start with the isotope. Now the isotope has a very simple meaning. It means that there can be one or more types of an element. For example, for carbon, usually the um, atomic mass is 12, but sometimes the atomic mass can also be 13. So I'm gonna write this down. For carbon, some most of the time, atomic mass, ato average atomic mass, let me say atomic mass is 12. But sometimes that can also be changed to 13. Now, this is basically an isotope. There are one or more types of an element, right? So this is an um, isotope. Once you have a different isotope of carbon, which is 13, what do you know from it? Do you know anything about its number okay. of neutron and proton? Okay, so the proton, as I said in my previous video, will always stay the same unless if you change it, it will become another element. So we can't change the proton. The proton will always be 6. But the neutron and electrons can change. Um, since the atomic mass is usually 12, then that means the in that case, the neutrons is also 6, as well as the protons is also 6. But when the atomic mass is 13, proton will always be the same, which is 6, but the atomic, the number of neutrons will change, which is 13 minus 6, which is 7. So, as you can see, the for carbon, the atomic mass can be 12, the atomic mass can be 13. Then the proton won't change, but because... There are two types, the, the number of neutrons can be six or seven. Just like that for hydrogen, there is a, the, the, it's also an isotope because there are actually a difference in the number of um, neutrons. So, okay, I'm just gonna write the three ones for hydrogen. For hydrogen. Remember, from you can from the um, uh, from the periodic table, you can see that the atomic number for hydrogen is one. It's written in big right here, one. So there are three isotopes for hydrogen. There is the protium. Then there's another one called deuterium. And last of all, there's another type, which is the tritrium. Tritrium. To represent these three, I have actually made out models. So this is my proteum. Um, my black is my atom in which there is only one proton. There is no neutrons. For deuterium, this is my deuterium. In my black, in my atom, there is one proton and one neutron, which is my blue one here. here. And for tritium, there is my one proton and my two neutrons inside this one atom. So remember the black is always the, the black here when I'm showing you this is the atom in which there is the red one proton and one neutron. The neutron can differ and um, in the periodic table of elements the proton always has to say the same which is the atomic number which is one. So now I'll explain to you the Avogadro's number because these two mole and Avogadro's number are actually related and um, they actually combine together. So Avogadro's number is basically when you want to convert the atomic mass of an element into the real weight, which is grams, right? So let me give you an example. Uh, we're just going to take carbon. Carbon has an atomic mass of about 12, let's say. I mean, it is 12, 12.0107, 12 so let's just say 12. Write down that number, 12.01, okay. whatever. 12.0107. 0107 which is the atomic is mass the, of carbon right yes atomic mass sorry of carbon 
if you want to get 12.0107 gram of carbon hmm. then how many atoms will give you that that's the that's the above avogadro's number exactly okay. so let me just quickly tell you what avogadro's number is avogadro's number is 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 it's a big number but um so that is the number of atoms yes you have of to carbon multiply. which will have an weight of um 12.0107 grams now it's not just for carbon as you said abu it's for all of the elements in the periodic table it will um if you if it will work for boron it will work for nitrogen the this uh, formula is always going to be the same to get the so same number make a sentence grams. make a sentence with magnesium with this magnesium okay um it should be in group one or two. Yeah, okay, you two. Um, for group two, the atomic mass is 24.305 for magnesium. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get 24.305. Write that. So write with the unit. Yeah. Wait. Now give me the sentence. Okay. Sentence will be that to get twenty four point three zero five grams. How many atoms I need? You have to multi. You have to get six point zero two two times ten to the power twenty three atoms. Yeah. To get from the um twenty four point three zero five atomic mass to twenty three point twenty four point three zero five grams. Um. So I hope you understood Avogadro's number. Avogadro's number is simply just. 6.022 times 10 to the power 23. This is the number of atoms. Now I'm going to explain to you what a mole is. So a mole is that for this number of atoms, it is one mole. For two moles, you have to multiply this at number of atoms with two or add it twice to get two moles. Just like that for three moles, four moles, however number of moles you so want. So do, do you want to say, instead of using that big number, using one, like 12 eggs is what? One dozen. Like that much atom is what? One mole. <laughs> right that? Yeah. So instead of using the big numbers, you are actually shrinking down the units. And bringing it to just one phrase, one mole. So basically if you see, 12 eggs is one next time mm -hmm. is one dozen yeah so next time you will not say 24 eggs i'll yes. say two dozen because right. i'm um, 24 eggs instead of saying that we'll just say two dozen that's, that's just easier right right so how does that relate it one. how do you use that example here then um this phrase is write it again 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 this is one mole if let's say you're working in a lab right sorry let's say you're working in a lab one mole and you want um two moles of something mm -hmm. right so you're not gonna say give me this much times two uh atoms you're gonna say just give me two moles that's much simpler you don't have to say these numbers again okay. say two moles so dear viewers, in my previous video, I showed you the basics or the terminology of chemistry. Here I showed you about the isotope mole and the Avogadro's number, which I hope you understood. And inshallah, in my next video, I will show you the, uh, the journey of an atom to become an ion. How it turns from an atom to an ion. So keep watching. Thank you and assalamu alaikum.